Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and in this video we are going to talk about undelete statement. Topics that we will cover up in this video are undelete statement, syntax of undelete statement, fetching the records from recycle bin and some point of caution while working with undelete statement. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. We know that Salesforce keeps deleted record into recycle bin for 15 days. Recycle bin can hold a maximum record of 25 times the megabytes in your storage. If your org reaches its recycle bin limit, Salesforce automatically removes the oldest records if they have been in the recycle bin for at least two hours. Make sure while querying the record, use all rows clause, otherwise deleted records will not be returned. You can clearly see how we are fetching contact records and how we have used all rows clause over here and then we are using undelete statement to restore or to undelete all those contacts. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys. And now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of undelete state. Now undeleting a record is actually restoring a record. And in the previous video, we have already seen how to restore a record, but that is from UI. Now in this video, we will see how to restore a record using Apex code. Now before that, you should know that whenever we are querying anything using SoQL, the records that we get are the records that are already available in Salesforce or it won't show the records that are available in recycle bin. So if we want to see the records that are available in recycle bin as well, then we have to use all rows keyword over there. Now let me show you how we can use all rows keyword. But before that, let's delete some record. So let's go to the or. And let's delete some record from here. Let's suppose let's delete this David Johnson and Andy Young. Now these records will be available in recycle bin as you can see over here. And in the contacts, if you see, there are a total of 19 contacts available. Now if we will query these contacts records, so let's do that in the query editor. So I'm using select ID name from contact and if I'm executing it, I will get 19 records only. But if I will use all rows keyword over here, I will get those records from the recycle bin as well. But the point to note over here is all rows cannot be used in query editor. So we'll use the same query in our anonymous window. So let's use system.dwork. And here we will print the size of the records that is returned from this specific so-called query. Now if I'm executing it, definitely I'm going to get 19 records only. But if I will use all rows over here, and execute it, this time I will get 22 records because it is returning those three records that are already deleted and that are part of recycle bin as. Now that is obvious that we are getting all the rows from recycle bin and from our own. But how we will come to know what are those records which are deleted, which are in recycle bin and how to be sure that we get only the records from the recycle bin. So for that, you can use an is deleted field. There is an is deleted field. So let me show you that is deleted field. So in the query editor, we will search for is deleted. Now this is a standard field which is available in all the objects. Now let me execute this. And by default, because we get records from the org itself, is deleted is false. But this field will have true for the records which are coming from recycle bin. So here, if we are adding where is deleted is true, and then we will execute, then it will make sure that we will get records from recycle bin only. So let me execute this. And here you can see now it is showing only three records because we mentioned the criteria that is deleted is true. Now you understood how we can get the records from recycle bin. The next step is how we can restore it. So let's hold these records in a list of contacts and then I can use undelete and mention this list. Before that, let me show you the org. Now in the recycle bin, you see there are two records only. Now there it is showing three records, but here you can see it is showing only two records. The reason why it is showing three records over there in the code is because I I was having one record in the recycle bin, which I showed you in the previous video, which I actually deleted from here, but it is still showing in the code. But if you will try to restore it even via code, you won't be able to because at that time it will find that that specific record is not in the recycle bin. So let me show you that. Let me click on execute and here you can see it is showing an exception 
that this specific id is not existing in the recycle bin and hence you cannot restore it so when you are using undelete statement make sure that you are undeleting only those records which are available in the recycle bin so for that you can give the criteria of record name as well so what i will do here is i will add one more criteria i will mention add name in and here i will mention those two names i should say first name in so first name in andy and the second one is david and now if i will try to restore it it will definitely get restored and now if i will refresh here you won't find in the recycle bin now you might be wondering how to overcome such scenario when i have deleted something from the recycle bin still it is showing here in the code but when i am restoring it i am not able to so in that situation what you can do is you can either refresh your developer console or you can log out from your org and log in again but that's how you can use an undelete statement to restore records from your org that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care